Wow. Wow. This is possibly the worst start I've ever had to a football manager season. As you can see, 24th and 0 points. Four games played. Let me show you the league. Poor. Worst goal difference in the league. Worst points difference. Points. We haven't even drawn a game. We are the only team not to have got a point. Let me show you the results. We saw this game live. We lost 3-1 to Birmingham. And that really has knocked on everything. It's had a knock on effect on the, all of the other games. We played the Capital One Cup. I played my youngsters. I played my second team really. We won 4-1. It was a dominating display. I was so impressed. We then went to Bournemouth. We won. We lost 4-1. 4-1 to Bournemouth, a team really we should be beating, especially at home. If I show you the uh, stats, I'm not going to show you the highlights, there are no highlights, it's depressing. As you can see, Del Delfinazo had a good game, but, you know, it was quite an even game, but they scored four and we only scored one. We, sh we It was sloppy defending, the game, it was because of sloppy defending. I can't put it down to anything else and we gave it away far too much in midfield then we went on to play Brighton another game which arguably we should be winning at least getting a draw uh, and we lost 2-1 uh, a goal from Delfinazo again he showed up only player who really showed up again apart from Gary McKenzie Gary McKenzie was a, uh, a rock this game uh but as you see, they dominated possession. And it really was a, a game we should have been winning. I'm disappointed, I'm disappointed. As you see, they dominated possession. And they had so much more shots than us. They just dominated, absolutely dominated. Uh, and then we played Ipswich. I decided to switch up the tactics a bit. Uh, and it worked. It really did. It, it worked in the beginning. Um, I think we were the, the stronger team at the beginning of the game. First half until the 85th minute. Junis Stanislas smashes it in. And Ryan Taylor smashes it in. So I don't know what happened. We just lost our focus at the end of the game. We gave it away. Um, disappointed. I don't know what to say. I'm just disappointed. Um, I can't stress this enough guys. I'm not going to artificially manufacture results to make the series interesting. You know, if I fail, I fail. I'm not normally bad at this game. I'm normally quite good at this game. And to be sitting 24th, it's disappointing. And there's, uh, to be honest, I have to put it down to form. This, Like I said, I hate this league. It is it's lo a lot down to luck. If we had lucked out and won that game, we probably would have won most of these other three games because we would have been in good form. Because this league is so close and it is so competitive, Form plays such a vital part in how you how you perform. So I'm gonna have to do something to change it up. I've been more impressed with the youngsters I've played. Um, Barry McKay, he, he I've given him two games and he's impressed in both. Uh, he, he's uh, having trading doesn't uh, reflect, but he has really impressed. McLeod, you know McLeod and Barry Ferguson. I played them together in the game against Ipswich. They dominated. Uh, I don't know why we lost it in the last minute. I think it's the fullbacks. Uh, I think they're losing their stamina halfway, f you know, towards the end of the game, and we're losing it down the wings. That's that's all I can say. Stanislas dominated us down the wings, and that's where we're really losing out down the wings. So I think I'm gonna have to turn my wing backs into fullbacks. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know, guys. If you if you've got anything, any clues, tell me in the comments. Let's see how the Premier League looks. City and United top. Cardiff and Stoke performing well. Arsenal bottom. Pretty sim pretty opposite to what's happening this season, isn't it? Liverpool and Arsenal doing doing badly and Man United Man City doing well. Oh. Oh, also I have to say I am disappointed with Matt Gilks. Matt Gilks has really let me down. Uh average rate of six point four three conceded eleven goals. So I think I'm going to have to splash the cash and get a, uh, get a good keeper. Um, I'm having a look at a few. Uh, I'll show you who I'm looking at so far.
Malak Stek, one one I'm looking at. You know, they're all expensive or shit, so it's going to be difficult, but I'm, I'm going to have to replace Gil because he's not impressing. Or I'm going to have to wait until Jack Alnwick is back from injury and play him. But yeah, I think now I'm going to have to play the youngsters more because they seem to be playing better than than the better players. The, the players, the younger players, the more potential players are playing better than the the current potential guys. Um, yeah, something's going to have to change. We're going to have to change something up. Hopefully next episode, guys, we won't be bottom. Bye.